all right all right what's going on everyone Aaron here clean cuts lawn care i am at work today but we got something a little different going on we're going to be doing tree work with a few friends of mine ralph how long you been climbing uh 19 years 19 years so i've known i met ralph originally when i was about eight or nine years old uh back then he dated my sister and uh been, we worked together off and on for about five years then we got the man himself the owner so i hounded him for about five years to get a lift and uh he finally got him one and then we got brandon brandon to tell, tell, tell everyone uh, what, what you just had this year. Oh man, I had a fat headed baby, man. <laughs> <laughs> Normal motherfucker, fat headed dog. <laughs> there you go. Oh. I've known Brandon for a few years now. Uh, he's 20 years old, he's a good kid. Him and, him and his good just had a, had a baby, so they're pretty excited about that. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna be taking, uh, taking this pine down, and then we're gonna be taking the left side off of that tree because the raccoons and um, squirrels are jumping onto the roof from it and then from there we'll move on to uh, to a different job We ended up just removing this tree instead of trimming it away from the house. Probably going to be better for you know for whoever's working on the house. They're flipping it. Uh, we already got one lead off of the pine and uh, stripped most of the other two leads. So now we just got to get the tops off and buck it down. One thing about here. Um, he doesn't have a loader that's one that's one part that does suck um because uh they gotta they gotta load their wood by hand <coughs> and besides the you know days that i have worked over here i haven't loaded wood by hand hell probably 10 years um you know like i said with the exception of some days i've worked over here so that kind of sucks because uh, this pine, once you get them leads off right there at that Y, you can see it, it thickens out all the way down to the trunk. So not gonna, not the heaviest wood. It could be oak. Thank God it's not. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the only bad part. shouldn't take us too much longer to get the rest of this on the ground at least and then after that uh, we're gonna go do one more trim job on the east side of Cleveland not sure right where it is but um, not far from here I actually this is actually where I grew up probably two miles from here we're on uh, 
West 25th and um, Denison right here. This is a pretty rough part of town now. It was when I left this area. It was already rough. Um, clean cuts, my business does not work down here at all. You know, you gotta you'll get your stuff stolen down here with a quickness. So I, I don't work down here at all. Bub. Or in the corner, yeah.
I gotta tighten up this chain. Roll this beef. We're gonna go that way. Ready? That's good. Thank you. Job's all finished. Had to leave this stump about uh, three feet tall because they have this metal spike going right through it. It grew around it, obviously. So, um, only cut it so low. <clears throat> Hauled away all the wood. See, it's all loaded. Like I was saying, loaded it all by hand. Uh, one full truckload of chips went separately than that now we're gonna go um do a trim job and then that'll be it
I'll screw it up a little bit so we can, you know, clean this up a little. Yeah, we'll blow that. All right, what's your name in your business? My name's Chris Wagner, and I own Wagner's Tree Service, based out of Strongsville, Ohio. All right, so that's where we're. Uh, that's who I'm working with today. Quick backstory, then we'll get back to Chris. Um, I moved to a, a certain city when I was 13. On March 8th, 1999, I met Chris the very same day, three houses up from me. Uh, we were best friends from that point on. A few weeks after I met him, he asked me if I wanted to mow lawns with him, uh, be partners, and then we could double the amount of lawns. So I did, and we did do that for about two years. But around 16 or so, I started focusing on working for my parents' company. Chris kept doing that, and he still owns the business to this day. So from the time, you know, you kind of went your way with doing the lawns, I started working for my parents. What did you do that got you to the point where we're at right now? Work, work, work. Work, work, work. Seven days a week. So, but the, but the last two years, I have not worked Saturdays and Sundays besides emergency jobs. Good. So let, let's go to like we're graduating high school. Um, after we got in that trouble with the police where they beat the hell out of both of us and sent you walking home and half a wife beater and me in the back of a cop car on the the day before your birthday actually that was um so you kept mowing lawns but you also started working with a tree company correct yes how long were you with the company i was with that company from 2004 to 2011. how many lawns a week plus landscaping jobs 40 houses a week plus the tree service for the other company and how many hours a week were you working with them 40 hours a week 40 plus yeah like so regular yeah so from 2004 to 11 you were with them yep what was their name i can't remember the name Beckler's Tree. that's right okay i remember now so what year did you go full-time by yourself 2011 same year 2011 yep. when you left Beckler's yes so when you went full-time though i remember uh you had a not to like knock on it but you had like a piece of crap chipper um the day i remember working with you we were chipping into the back of a pickup truck mm -hmm. they had a dump bed though i did have a dump bed i think um you were still doing lawns but doing i think you were doing lawns three doing or four lawns days a week during the week and then doing trees on the weekend right i had extra help so where was like the big change with that to where now you primarily do trees yes alone so yes. where was the big change in that to where you were able to switch it over uh pretty much last year when we purchased the spider lift that i've been showing today on yeah on uh the camera so you have a climber full-time yes um you also have uh, we've met ralph already uh who he, he's not full-time but he's here quite a bit yeah brandon who's full-time yep that's your nephew brandon brandon's ralph nephew and then yourself obviously yep um so you only mow how many days a week now or like one two? day a week every two weeks so only one route every two, two weeks. weeks all right so what's the biggest positive with the business biggest biggest negative with the business no money in grass cutting no money in grass now now you see you're gonna work you know 12 hours 12 hours a day to make that tree money when you could be done in five six hours right and the, the for same, the same thing. same thing so a very very long day yeah compared to what you could make in but the only half. thing is with lawns it's guaranteed money that's every exactly single week if right. you have the lawns as long as it's not raining yeah what about um now i can have some i can have some equipment go down uh, a mower a trimmer you know um, i'm aggravated for the weekend fixing it but i can get it right back up and running primarily what about when uh hydraulics on a truck go down the lift goes down the chipper's down that's a lot more stressful that's that's yes. hell yeah so I, I might spend 300 bucks to get my stuff back up and running versus a couple thousand so that's kind of, that's also like maybe one of the big negatives yeah what, what about um maintaining the the guys the employees hard to find good help we right. are hiring 
especially guys with driver's license. So that's hard and, to find right there. Uh, you know, right. Bayside Strong's will work in five days a week. Give them a call. Wagner's uh, Tree Service and Landscaping. How do you say it? Wagner's Tree Service. Oh, just tree service now. Yep. You you, because you switched over to a different. Yeah. That's right. So he's got two aces, and then there's another guy, but he needs some more. I've been with Chris for almost 15 years. Almost 15 years you've been around. And then the nephew, he's been around strong now, what, two years for Brandon? Two and a half, roughly. I, and I look cute the whole time. Yeah. That's why guys like us got to be married, because we can't compete with a hunk like this. Okay. You know, I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> All right, for a guy who just started this business last week, what can you tell him, give him the best piece of advice? Well, don't depend on nobody but yourself. Yep. Pretty it's, much. It's what it is. Yeah. If you have the money to, to buy the equipment, buy the equipment because you know it's going to show up every single day. Right. Yeah. Can't go wrong with that. All two right. One six. Oh, good. Two one six two nine 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 two six one. Call or text. Thanks. If you want a job, that's the guy. But you got to have a driver's license because they're hard to come by in this industry. All right, guys, if you like the video, hit like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. Let me know everything I'm doing wrong and keep the measures clean, boys. I'm out.